It is the breaking news coming out of Jammu. There's been an explosion. The police says that a grenade was thrown at a bus at the bus stand of Jammu. This is the main bus stand. Uh, there are enough reports, including the police's, to say that there are people who have been injured. We don't have a count on the number of people who have been injured. All we know right now is that there's been a grenade that was thrown at a bus at the Jammu bus stand. And we also don't know how many people have been injured. Uh, that is the latest information we have for you. Nazim Masoodi has been tracking all the details for us. This comes in the aftermath of all that's happened in Pulwama. So we have to be very careful about this because the attempts are always to polarize people. Nazir, go ahead. Tell us what you know. Well, uh, it's clearly the police has uh, confirmed that it's a grenade attack. And we can see the motive behind it, why they are doing it at a time when there's already, you know, uh, tempers are very high. There has been a very difficult time for the administration to deal with the situation uh, in Jammu just a few weeks back. And now they are again trying, you know, by lobbing this grenade, where over a dozen people have been injured. Now, condition of injured is stated to be, you know, stable, but this is what police are saying. But we are get information that uh, two people are believed to be serious. They have been shifted to uh, Srinagar, Jammu's, uh, you know, this. Uh, government Medical College Hospital for treatment. Uh, it was a bus. There was a number of buses because it's main bus chain, and there are lots of vendors around. So suddenly, someone threw a grenade, and that uh, exploded beneath the bus, and uh, there was a big bang. And uh, what a dozen people have been injured in this blast. Police immediately rushed to the spot and uh, actually protected the scene of this attack. And try to see what they can get from there. And first, the priority was to, you know, shift. Nazir, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Nazir, I can hear you. I have a question. Do we know who was in the bus? Who was the target of the grenade? Well, it looks like a random target to cause injuries or death to the civilians inside a bus. So, so there was no specific target. There was no security around. It was just targeting innocent civilians. So it is bus conductors, drivers, and common people who have become target of this uh, grenade attack. Who is behind this? Police say they are ascertaining, and so far no group or individual has claimed the responsibility for this attack. Uh, we remember there was an attack, you know, uh, you know, in Amritsar, recently grenade attack, and now yesterday even NIA said it was a Ghazwatul Hind militant from a uh, group which had, you know, carried out that attack. Who is behind this grenade attack? We're waiting for information and confirmation from police. But so far, police have confirmed that it's a grenade attack. So clearly, Link saying it is a militant attack. But which group and who has done it, it is yet to be ascertained. Uh, over a dozen people have been injured in the grenade attack. And what police are saying, they are stable. But we are getting you know, information from the hospital sources that two of the injured, their condition is serious. And they're all being treated at Jammu's Medical College Hospital. This after a long time when there has been such an attack and particularly civilians have been targeted in Jammu. And it's clearly a civilian a target targeting civilians to cause further polarization when we see already Jammu was very tense following Pulwama attack where the Kashmiris were targeted like in many parts of the country. So it is obviously motive clear aid to cause you know death or injuries to civilians that section is to uh, cause the civilian right, Nazir. Okay. Incident, but right, Nazir, we're going to let you go. Uh, we're going to let you go ahead and try to get us more information on the two people that you said are serious. Uh, 18 in total have been injured. Uh, that is what we know.